Okay, Tom, here's the Arduino running the 7402 Norgate tester. I've cleaned up the wiring a bit here from the first cut because it makes it easier to get the ICs in and out. Love these zero insertion force sockets. You just lay them in there and turn that little handle and locks them right in. And raise that handle up and they just slide right out. I've got the Arduino's pins connected to the all the pins on the 14 pin dip, dual inline package ICs, and then programmatically switch to which ones are input, which ones are output, and run a test on them to see what the truth table, uh, whether we meet the truth table conditions for that particular IC. And over here are the LED outputs. I've got it flipping states on the inputs about every 0.2 seconds right now. Here goes fast as I see it, or the little CPU there would go on the Arduino, or as slow as you want in order to be able to see it. Way on the left you'll see pin uh, gate 1, where 2 and 3 there are the inputs, and 1 is the output. So with the NOR gate you can see with both outputs high, but you got a low on the output. If both of those go low, both the inputs, input A, input B, your output is high, like right there. So if you watch it cycle through the states, it's pretty fast at this speed, but you can see it changing states and the input and the output, and that should match the truth table. But you find on the internet is the easiest way to do it. Just put in 7402 data sheet, and it'll give you all sorts of links to, to the data sheets and the truth tables, and even some of them, even the Carnot map when they put them together with other ICs. One thing that's interesting about these ICs is that uh, if you, or any logic circuit, Boolini, Boolean object, <laughs> I'm tongue-tied this morning, had Tequila Tuesday with neighbor Sarah last night, I still haven't completely recovered. Boolean, and Boolean's hard to say, I don't care what they say. That's why they don't teach it to you right off in the fourth grade. Anyway, uh, if you change all the ORs to ANDs and vice versa, all the ANDs to ORs in any kind of a logic circuit, it'll do the same thing. It's kind of neat. There's a name for that. I don't remember what it is. A law of some kind. Over here, I hope you can see that. That's the program running, and that's what I'm doing is I'm measuring the gates on the output. So it measures gate 1, gate 2, gate 3, gate 4, says, okay, this is a good IC. All 7402 gates are good. I've run across ICs before where one or two gates are bad and the others are okay. Usually a result of abusing them and the power there with too much power. Sometimes they'll be flaky if you don't have quite enough. You'll have a lot of trouble with power supplies on these circuits sometimes, plus uh, uh, that's a regulated circuit and we should have, if we we're really going to do this for real, we'd have Filter capacitors across those pins, the uh, power pins, to kind of try to keep the line more stable. Anyway, uh, this is the 7402 tester. 7401 is very similar, but it just measures, has a little bit di different inputs, outputs, and uh, of course a different truth table because the 7400 is an AND gate while this is the NOR gate. Pretty cool. I'm having fun with this little sucker. I'm having a lot of fun with this little sucker. All right, there you have it. There you have it. If you have any questions, look them up on the Internet, because I probably don't know the answer. You know everything I know now about these things. Okay, over and out. Ciao for now.